Think about it that way. How many schools tell you that? I graduated from International Academy. When I graduated from there, I didn't know Jack. After paying them all that money. You know, they didn't teach me about pricing. They didn't teach me about style number. They didn't teach me about, you know, sizing. I mean, I was like a baby just coming out. And I took my things to Carson's, and I was going to sell the Carson's. Because my husband's like, well, if you sell the Carson's, I'll consider you a designer. You ought to consider me a designer. I know I'm a designer. But anyway, because that's limitations people put on you sometimes. But anyway, when I go to Carson's, I had six pieces that took me six months to make in school. And I took them. I was so proud. This is my line. The woman said, Rosemary, it's really good, but can you do? Can you bring me 30 pieces by next week? Mm -hmm. It took me six months to do six pieces. Mm -hmm. She's asked me to do 30 pieces in a week. Mm -hmm. Do you know I did it? Okay. I wow. did it mm -hmm. because I was committed. Mm -hmm. Nothing else mattered to me. I was committed. And so when I did those 30 pieces, and I went into her, and I was really, really proud. And I was almost dying, but I was so proud. And so I showed her the line. She said, oh, Rosemary, oh, wonderful. I love it. What's the price? Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> What's the style number? OK, pick out the pieces you want first. You look at that stuff. I'm kind of trying to figure out some stuff over here. Yeah. So my you style. Schools didn't prepare me. Right. It didn't prepare me like I'm preparing you guys. Mm -hmm. It didn't prepare me. I had nobody to talk to me on a... Everybody, everything they taught me in school was, you're going to be the next Perry Ellis. You're going to be the next uh, uh, um, um, whatever. Come on. Raffle around. Mm -hmm. You're going to be the next Donna Karen. But they didn't show me how to get there. Right. They didn't tell me that I got to start small and then become that. Mm -hmm. And this is what I'm saying about school. Mm -hmm. You don't need any more school people. You need to do something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need to make a commitment. Mm -hmm. Can I, you need to mark. You need to do your cards mm -hmm. and market you. Mm -hmm. right. you, you can do my you. cards, <laughs> but you need to do yours <laughs> right. and yeah. just your, you know, graphic designer, whatever yeah. your name yeah. is. Like, you, like Teresa said, everybody company. needs a card. Everybody. Right. Needs, mm -hmm. I mean, I had the, I did the artist expo, and so mm -hmm. since I'm really kind of not, my cash flow is like really kind of low. So, I, you know, and plus I, I believe in the environment. That's one of the things that I can use. And so I didn't have cards that, I, my card still from the other address is here. Mm -hmm. I thought, but you can still find me because my email and my website is on that card. Mm -hmm. So one of these graphic people who does this beautiful graphic work, and mm -hmm. she was at the expo, she said, you need some cards. And I said, I know. Mm -hmm. See, when you don't know something, then you need to learn it. But if you do know something, then you become artistic about what you do. <laughs> and it still goes over well. You understand what I'm saying? So, what we have to look at when we're doing our business plan is where we want to go, write down. Commitment. Commitment. What are we going to sell? Start selling it now. Who's your competition? Just like, uh, just like Teresa said. Anybody with $10 in their pocket, you want to have part of that ten dollars, so you don't want that ten dollars to go to her. You want it to go to you. How do you do that? How do you do that? So that's your competition. Mm -hmm. Anybody that's selling something is your competition. Okay, so you can have your marketing strategy. Your marketing strategy is this: if I advertise in this book, this is party book, mm -hmm. but anyway, if I advertise in this book, then is it going to bring me money in the next two weeks or three weeks? There's a possibility you will. Big pardon? There's a possibility. Maybe no, we don't want to talk about possibility. Yeah, okay. but it is My a possibility, question, yes. Yeah, because I'm going to mm -hmm. say is mm -hmm. whatever's in the book, somebody may not need or want. But the book allows you to have the, um, the uh, exposure. exposure. Yeah, yeah. And so this right here, what I'm doing is giving you exposure too, because you can send people there and you can say that this is what I'm doing. Because most of the women, when they come here, we basically show and tell and sell and buy and all that kind of stuff here. Yeah. And so you get a chance to say, well, wow, this is what she's selling. You know, uh, this is what she's doing. So anytime you get exposure, whether it's negative or it's good, <laughs> it's exposure. But you want to have it good. You want to have good. Mark. So this is your marketing strategy. And then the next thing on your business plan is who your market is. Know who your market is. If you're selling 
whatever, then it might be Kmart, it might be Walmart, or it might be Neiman Marcus, but you can't sell the both. Yes. You can't sell the yes. both. Yes. So you got to like, if you're selling to Nordstrom's or Neiman Marcus, it has to, you got to put that in there because you made a commitment to sell to them. You can't be everywhere, all over the place. See how that commitment just keep coming back and biting you in the butt? Stop right now. The time is now. The time is now. Now is the time. Is the time. You're here because you made a commitment. Let it go. Yes. Keep it moving forward. One of the things that I was getting in prayer was the partnerships. You know, partnerships kept coming to my mind. And I was telling a friend of mine last night that. Um, I wanted to partner with churches for the shelter part of my business. And what I wanted to do was, at, this is going to be a future thing, was offer to pay off a church's mortgage in a five to year timeline and in return they would have to make a commitment of 20 to 30 years in either uh, developing and operating a shelter in their community. Okay. And that way I didn't have to, because of my commitment to the church, I didn't have to have a, a direct commitment to the shelter. I can basically have them have a, a board of uh, uh, a, a board that oversees the operations of the shelter. And I wanted to make sure that I my business was building up the community, even if I couldn't do certain parts directly. But well, once you started, then you can. So you're the person that gave birth. Once you started, then you can just keep moving it forward. And the things that you don't really want to do, then you pass it on to somebody else. But, you know, sometimes it just takes the person laying the egg to make some things happen. And that's a good thing because you that creative energy. And now you want to move on. Just like me, I started Women Act in 2006. And the, basically the only thing I want to think about and do is Women Act, Women Act, Women Act. Now... God has given me like this other mission that I'm running, going to run for Cook County Board right. in 2012. <laughs> so, and people say, how you going to do that? I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. I made a commitment. I made a commitment. So now I have to bring somebody here to run women out because it's not going to die because I'm dead. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not dead. But I'm moving on. <laughs> you know? So, but I made a commitment, and I gave it a timeline. It's 2012. So what you do with your business plan is to say, this is what I'm doing right now, and this is what I'm going to be doing in the next six months, and this is what I'm going to be doing in the next year, and then this on. And you follow those commitments. Does it make sense? Yes, it does. How many people going to make a commitment? Okay. So I do have a question. Yes. Um, how do you even start the plan? Is there a guideline? Am I looking for a template? I'm going to mail everybody a template. And a, <laughs> okay. I'm going to mail everybody a template okay. because if you gave me the right email address, because okay. I'm not mailing anything, but everything I do is for free. For free, for free, for free, for free. For free, for free, for free. For free, for free. <laughs> so I'm going to eat. Can you send me some brochures? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can email you some <laughs> You can go to my website. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. That's how you run a business with very little money. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sell, sell, sell. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sell, 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 sell. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah.